we were asked to solve the equations by factoring, show our work, and then verify by graphing. We have the original equation, negative 2x squared equals 8x. This is a quadratic equation. The first step to solve by factoring is to write the equation in standard form. That means to set it equal to 0. So I'm going to subtract 8x from both sides, leaving me equal to 0 on the right-hand side. Now, I notice I have two terms. I have a term with negative 2x squared and a term with negative 8x. I have a greatest common factor between each of these two terms, so I'm going to remove that first. My greatest common factor is negative 2x. If I remove negative 2x from negative 2x squared, what I have left is x, and you can always check by multiplying. Negative 2x times x gives you negative 2x squared. If I remove negative 2x from negative 8x, I have left a positive 4. And again, you can check negative 2x times a positive 4 is negative 8x. So be careful with your signs on these. I must include the equals 0 part because now to solve this equation, I'm going to use the zero product rule, which says that if I have a times b equal to zero, then either a is zero or b is zero. So if I have the product of two things equaling zero, one or the other of those things has to be zero. If I have negative two times x equals zero, if I divide both sides by negative 2, I get the result that x equals 0. If I have x plus 4 equals 0, if I subtract 4 from both sides, I get a result of x equals negative 4. So I have determined two possible solutions to my quadratic equation. I'm going to use my calculator to check these solutions. I'm going to go to y equals and I'm going to clear anything I have in y1. If my y2 is 0, I'm going to leave that. If it's not, I'm going to put 0 for y2. So what I'm going to check graphically is the solution to the equation in standard form. I could do this one, but I'm going to choose to work with the standard form equation instead. So that's negative 2x squared minus 8x. I want to check my window and make sure I have a standard window to start, then press graph. Notice I have a parabola that opens up and crosses the horizontal axis in two places. What I'm going to check and make sure is that it crosses at negative 4 and 0 and that will verify my solutions. So I'm going to use my second calc intersect, which is number 5 process, that's going to give me the first solution, the intersection 0, 0. So this x equals 0 has been confirmed. I'm going to use the same process, second calc 5, but now where it asks me first curve, I need to move my cursor so that I can pick up that second intersection. See how the cursor is going up, coming down. As soon as my cursor is closer to this intersection than this one, I can go through my process of hitting enter, cycling through the questions, and I come up with the result negative 4, 0, which verifies this solution. So what I want to do over here in my graphing space is just to draw my axes here, my x-axis, my y-axis, and then let me get a fairly good shape on this parabola. That's not great, but we can identify those are the places my parabola crosses the horizontal intersect, intercept, and that's going to be negative 4, 0, and 0, 0. So those crosses, the places where it crosses the x-axis or the horizontal axis, verify my solutions to the equation. 
All right, let's look at the same kind of process for the second part, x squared equals 3x plus 28. So the first thing I'm going to do is to set this in standard form by subtracting 3x and 28 from both sides. So I'm moving everything to one side and putting 0 on the other side. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put in my y equals equation. So this is going to be x squared minus 3x minus 28. I know my window is good. I'm going to press graph and that's going to give me a parabola that opens up. I'm going to draw that here and I've got something that is going about like this. I'm not really worried about getting the vertex in here. I could get the vertex if I wanted to make my window a lot more um, negative for y min, but I'm just going to leave it because what I'm really concerned about is these two crosses, the place it crosses the horizontal axis here. So I'm looking and I want to factor this to try to find these solutions here. Where does it cross these intercepts? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try trial and error factoring. So I want these two numbers to multiply to give me negative 28 and add to give me negative 3. Well 28 is 7 times 4. That's a really good um, set of numbers to start with. I could use 14 times 2 but that's not going to help me with this negative 3. So if I want a negative 3 in the middle that comes from adding the 7 and the 4 spots, I need it to be a negative 7 and a positive 4. If I add negative 7 plus 4, that's going to give me a negative 3. Remember to set this equal to 0. Once I have it set equal to 0, I can set each of my factors to 0. So I have x minus 7 equals 0 or x plus 4 equals 0. That means x equals 7 or x equals 4. So what I'm betting is that this ordered pair over here is 7, 0. And what did I do wrong? This should be a negative 4 if I subtract x plus 4 equals 0. So x equals negative 4. Let's make that correction. And I can tell by my graph. So you can see if you make a mistake here, your graph should help you verify. Now let's go ahead and use our calculator to find these numbers. If I go second calc 5, that's going to give me one of my intersections. That's going to give me the negative 4, 0. So this one checks. Let's do second calc number 5 again. And I'm going to need to move my cursor over until I can get a little bit closer to the second intersection that I'm looking for. Notice my y values are still going down. Now they're starting to come back up. They're less negative. I'm getting into negative 12, negative 10. There's my cursor. Now I'm going to hit enter three times and that should give me 7, 0. So it confirms the second solution. So I have two solutions just as I did in part A to this equation and they are x equals 7 or x equals negative 4.